Hey, healthy gamers, this is Jack here giving you a Necro PvP video. And before we get started, let me just tell you that you can go over to my website at thehealthygamer.com, find lots of uh, Guild Wars 2 content, um, class overviews, PvP videos, uh, a lot of stuff like this, and then also health and fitness videos, uh, cooking videos. So you can find uh, everything there. Just go to healthygamer.com. And uh, let me just give you some commentary on what's going on here. I am using an axe right now. Actually, I just shifted into my shadow form. And what that does is I am invulnerable while I'm in this form. And you see that little green life bar going. As long as I have that life bar and I stay in that form, I take zero damage. And now I just shifted back out. I am uh, using an axe. And an axe is really good for single target DPS. It just does a lot of straight up DPS, not so many dots or anything like that. Um, and the game just uh, game just ended there, and we lost. But I'm gonna kill this guy. Hopefully, I don't remember. It's been a long time since I shot this one, so I don't remember what happens. Um, as you can see, people have uh, a lot of life bars in Guild Wars 2, and it's um, can be kind of difficult to kill people. But that's also a good thing, so you're not getting one shotted. Um, you have that means you have lots of room to move around and uh, do what you will. So on this map there's actually mobs that you can kill for uh, points and also you'll get buffs on yourself for killing these uh, mobs like that big bear guy right there. And that guy decided to jump in and he's going to die. Uh, the Necro is probably what I'm going to roll when the game releases just because um, having that shadow form, that F1, is just super powerful in PvP. Uh, being able to become invulnerable for many seconds at a time, like all the time, uh, when you need it is great. And also, you know, being ranged, of course, is also useful in PvP, uh, especially in uh, the big battleground keep fights and whatnot. I found the Necro to be just be super versatile. You have uh, a lot of different options. You have dots, you have slows, you have fears, um, you have life drains, and then you have uh, pets. So. Uh, that's that's why I'm gonna be playing Necro at release and I'm not sure how that guy's staying alive so long um, you can see how many people are attacking him but uh, he's just not going down so I don't know I don't know what his secret is but I would like to know and uh, I, f I found it kinda helps to be the small character model I'll probably gonna roll uh, a Sura or whatever that is at release because um, Guild Wars 2, it does. You do need to target people to do your uh, whatever single target uh, damage. And the smaller you are, the more difficult you are to target. Uh, there is tab targeting, but um, you'll see there's see like there's that guy's pet right there, and there's a lot of pets and stuff that get thrown on the ground, and it can be kind of hard or difficult, or kind of difficult to target the person that you're trying to target. Um, using tab targeting, so uh, being a small character model I think is an advantage in PvP. You can see right there, shifted into shadow form, didn't take any damage from that guy for that whole time. Uh, it's, it seems a little bit overpowered to me, but I'm, I'm gonna take advantage of it while it's there. <laughs> and that little, uh, that yeah, little yeah, floaty yeah. brain thing. It's fun. It's nope. really good. I, like I forgot that I was talking during this. Whoops. But that little floaty brain thing, anyways, while I talk over myself, <laughs> whenever it attacks somebody, it uh, gives me, it does a life steal, gives me life back. And that uh, other little thingy right there, you see it shooting, that's my other pet. It's a, kind of a ranged uh, DPS pet. And I can also have it immobilize foes if I tap that target again. So I'll just give you your healthy tip for this video and then let you watch the rest of it. Um, I'm not a huge uh, believer in that whole thing where they say don't eat after 7 or you'll get really fat. I don't think it really matters uh, when you eat uh, too much. But I have noticed that if you eat a big meal uh, close to bed that it will disturb your rest. And so you don't want to eat uh, massive meals before you go to bed um, because your digestive system does uh, require a lot of energy to digest food. And um, if you eat a big meal right before you go to bed, uh, that you know your body is requiring energy for you to digest that food, and so you're not getting uh, optimal restful sleep that you should or that you could, and so therefore you want to uh, just watch what you eat and don't eat too much before bed. And I just died right there because I ate a big meal before bed. 
Thanks for watching. Please hit like and subscribe. Got a lot more Guild Wars 2 videos coming up. If you go over to my website at thehealthygamer.com, you can find videos like this for all the different classes. Hey, I'm on a rampage. And I'm just spamming skills. This is great. is yours. Good though, I think I killed somebody. Yeah. Alright, let me res. This PvP is so much fun. Kinds of cool shit. That's awesome. All right. Team! <laughs> 
We won. All right, high score. Don't even know how that happened.